Good morning, folks. A while back, I mentioned that uh, kind of halfway thinking it'd be fun to try to turn this little truck into basically a snowcat. It's not worth a lot. Uh, got some problems. I broke that one back window. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, that's kind of going to fall out one of these days. The head gas, or not head gasket, valve cover gasket is bad and hard to get to. It leaks oil and when I quit driving it, part of the reason I decided to give up on it and Something was clunking in the transmission when you tried to take it out of four-wheel drive. Going into four-wheel drive and leaving it there, it was fine. But, uh, anyway, kind of show you here some of the things I've been looking at and thinking about. It probably won't happen because it would be a little bit of money to do, but it I don't think it would be that expensive, and I don't know that it would be all that hard to do either. But anyway, here's some stuff I found on the computer. Uh, this first one, the little pickup truck, green one, I really like that. I don't think that'd be hard to do at all. So anyway, here's, here's some kind of neat pictures, if nothing else.
Kind of neat stuff, ain't it? Be fun to do. I don't know how practical it'd really be. A uh, half track would be the easiest because of the steering. I don't know if wheels in the front would work as well as skis would in the deeper snow. But I don't know. The military used them for quite a while. Um, I think they're still actually being made. I don't know about our military, but others around the world are using half tracks. And that would be really better than the skis for getting around. I, I couldn't really run the skis on uh, dry ground. And a lot of times there's not enough snow until you get up a little bit higher. So if I had wheels, that would be easier to just drive out from the house and go up the mountain. But uh, I don't know how practical it would be either. So what I kind of like to do, I took this pickup box off and then cut it off, cut the frame off about right behind the wheel here. Or maybe move that rear axle back just a little bit and add another, another wheel right here. If this wasn't an extended cab, it would be a little bit easier probably if it had a longer box. But that extended cab is going to be in the way unless I lift that or figure out some way of um, some way of making it clear. This is the tires clear up here. If you had tracks, it'd be clear up this high and probably in at least this far. So and then the other trouble you got underneath. Yeah, if I can get down here. Underneath, you have the gas tank here, the frames over here, which actually might not be so bad. If I were to add the axle oops, off the frame here, it would put it down a little ways and lift everything. You kind of need to lift it because one trouble you have in the snow is the differential. The differential in your axle, once the snow gets too deep and you're pushing through the snow with that, uh, you're not going to go anywhere. It's just going to stop you. And it needs to be higher anyway. This is only maybe 16 inches off the ground or something to the middle. So you wouldn't be able to go very deep and you'd high center it. But anyway... I don't know, like I said, if I'll end up doing that or not. It'd be sure a lot of fun. But I don't have a whole lot of time to deal with anything like this anyway. And it would take a little bit of money maybe to do. So, don't know. I'm still thinking on it. You guys got any ideas? <laughs> anyway, see you next time, folks, and have a great day. Bye.